Good morning, this is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and you're listening to Coffee with Chris, the time of the day where we share a cup of coffee and share a bit of the Word of God. Thank you so much for joining me on this Thursday morning for a hot cup of the Word of God and a hot cup of coffee. So today we are in Vayetze, which is our Torah portion for this week, and the Sidra, the Aliyah uh, for today is Genesis chapter 31, verses 17, all the way to verse 42. So let's go to chapter 31 and just let's start with verse 38. Now this is going to seem like a little bit of the same thing that you heard yesterday, but it's a little bit different, trust me. So yesterday... Uh, Jacob was speaking with his two wives, which were the two daughters of Laban. Now, in this passage, he's actually speaking directly to Laban because after he left, Laban found out that he left without saying goodbye and ended up catching up with him and confronting him. And so here, Laban and Jacob are face to face having a showdown. And it says in verse 38, These past 20 years, I've been with you. Your ewes and your female goats have never miscarried, and, ne and I've never eaten the rams of your flock. I didn't bring your animals torn by wild beasts. I myself bore the loss. Well, you would have required it from my hand anyway, whether it was stolen by day or stolen by night. I was consumed by heat during the day, consumed by frost during the night, and my sleep fled from my eyes. This is how it's been for me for 20 years in your house. I've served you 14 years for your two daughters and six years for your flocks, and you changed my salary 10 times. Had it not been for God, the God of my father, the God of Abraham, and the fear of Isaac, you would have sent me away empty-handed by now. But God saw my misery and toil and the toil of my hands, and last night he became the judge. Now right here, <laughs> Jacob's throwing down, my friends. Here, Jacob gives God the credit for saving him from Laban's screw job. He testifies uh, to his wife how um, it was done. Remember last week in verses eight and nine, or yesterday in verses eight and nine, he basically said the same thing. He he said. Um, now you yourselves know that I've served your father with all my strength, yet your father has fooled around with me and changed my wages ten times, but God hasn't allowed him to harm me. So once again, if you do your best and you love and serve God with all your heart, you'll come out on top no matter what, no matter what others say or do to you. And as I said yesterday in Romans 8.31, if God is for us, who can be against us? I mean, nobody can stand up against us and God. You and God make a majority. doesn't matter how many people are against you or trying to undermine you or screw you over. And Romans 8, 28, let me remind you, it says that all things work together for good for them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. So th what this says to me is that God will end up turning the tables on the bad guys and make you come out on top. Guys, thanks so much for listening. Go out there and have a great day. Shalom and God bless.